Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you how to paint hydrangeas and this is part of a collaboration with Cinnamon Cooney, Angela Anderson and Jane Font of Painting with Jane. So when you're finished watching this tutorial, go over to their channels and check out theirs. I'll leave the links in the description box and also in the eye cards in the corner there. I'll be painting on 11 by 14 canvas and I'll be using a quarter inch filbert a half inch flat, a quarter inch flat, and a number three liner. So let's get started. Okay, to begin, the first thing I did was sketch my image onto the canvas using watercolor pencils. This is the original sketch I did. You can find this printable on my Pinterest board. The link is down in the description box. I'll be painting the hydrangeas purple and blue. So some of them will be purple and some of them will be blue. I'll be using permanent blue violet paint. It's just a dark purple. Use the dark purple that you have and that should be fine. I'm also using titanium white and a half inch flat brush. Now what I want to do is block in all the color. So I'll mix some of this purple and some of the white to create a light, lighter shade or lighter tone. And I'm just going to block in the color. One by one. I'm going to add a little bit more darker purple and clean off my paintbrush first. I'm just going to add some shading around the bottom because the light is coming from here. Just darken up a bit, blend it in with the other. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be covered with the flower petals. Just like that. Just kind of blend it in. Clean off my brush and just add a bit of white to the top here while it's still wet. Tap it more. I'm going to block in the next purple flower the same way I did with this. And don't forget to do the sides. purple where there's, there would be shading which would be right here and just blend it outwards and 
some white to highlight this area because light's coming from this way. Like that. And then again. Add the shading with the darker purple, which will be right on this edge because it's tucked under this one. And same with this one. This one, this one is behind this one, so there's shading right there. some highlight to the top just a little bit This one. Do it the same way you did it with those. some highlight so now I'm going to use phthalo blue and titanium white to do the blue ones and I'm going to do them exactly the same way I did with the purple ones I'm going to mix the blue and some titanium white. Like that. I'm going to add a little bit of purple. You can make your hydrangeas any color you'd like. There's so many different choices. You can make them all purple, all pink, all blue. Whatever you like. Even ivory. I will add a little bit of black to that. There we go. Too much.
seen with this edge. Okay, and add some white. To highlight it. up some more of that blue tad of white a little bit of purple and a little bit of phthalo blue black or shade it just a tad more black to that darken it a bit of white to the blue and then highlight it at the top not too light because the petals should be lighter than the background and it doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be covered and then do the same with these ones. There we go, and then I'm going to shade it again, the same way I did with those ones. Do the black shading there, or the darker blue shading, I mean. Just a little bit under the leaf. Shading, uh, highlighting here like, so it defines it a bit. Okay, now I'm going to use olive green and light olive green to block in the paint on the leaves, and I'll also be using a little bit of black to shade with the olive green. So the first thing I do is use this quarter inch flat brush 
and block in the olive green. I'm going to mix a little bit of black with the green. And then just shade around where the flowers, where the leaf tucks behind the flowers. Just kind of blend it into the wet paint. Just like that, I'm going to clean my paintbrush off and then highlight the tip with the light olive green. blend it in. And then I'm going to do the rest of the leaves like that in the same manner. Okay, now I'm going to mix some yellow ochre with titanium white. It's equal parts. I'm just going to mix it up for the background. So I'm going to add a little bit more white and blend it into that as I'm painting. And don't forget to do the sides. Do those first. Put white there. Go. Maybe I'll add some white to lighten up some areas. like that. Okay. I think I like it. Maybe a little bit more here. <laughs> okay, now it's time to paint on the little petals on the hydrangeas. So what I'm going to do is mix some blue and white to create a slightly lighter color than this one. Add 
Pots and Purple. That should be good. I have a number six filbert. It's about a quarter inch across. And what I'm going to do is start with the blue ones that are behind the purple. So I'm going to dip my brush into the blue I just mixed up. And then dip the tip into the light. And then just do this, like that. Okay. All right, here we go. Dip it into the blue. A little bit of white. I'm going to start where the neutral color is. I mean the color, the main color. So I'm just going to do that. It's like a four petal. I'm just going to keep adding them to that section. Dip it in the white. And then add it to the background like that. Dip it in the white. Got four little petals. It's too much white. You can always go over it. closer you get to the shading, the darker it should be. I'm going to add some dark blue there. I'm going to add the lighter blue as a highlight. So you get to the where the highlighting is, the lighter part, add more white to the blue. And then dip the tip in the white. And try to leave some background color. I'll lighten up my blue a bit. closer you get to the shade, the darker the main blue is. And the closer you get to the edge, 
you don't really have to define them because they're tucked in. Maybe just add a few more light ones. And just add a few little petals just to fill in the spaces a little bit better. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the other blues. Starting with my lighter blue, my medium blue, I'm going to dip it in the white and then add it. Just like that. Too much white. You can always go over it. And don't forget to do the sides, Just adding some petals, I can't really see that, but it's the same way as the rest of it. Basically, it's just the impression of flowers. They're not defined as well as a realistic one, but you get the picture. So that's it so far. And don't forget to do the sides.
I'm going to add a little bit more dark to this part. And a little bit of light blue dipped in white right here just to define this one. a little bit lighter here and now I'll do the purple in the exact same way I'm going to dip it in the purple touch the tip with the white okay. and then add a little bit more white some more white to the purple. Pick up some more white on the tip. Darker purple for this section in the shade. Just put random small ones because maybe they're peeking out behind the other petals. There we go. Maybe I'm going to add a little bit more dark purple right here. Now I'm going to do this one here, so start with the darker purple.
add some leaves or petals around the edges, like single petals like that. Highlighted ones just to define this edge here. I'm just going to add a few dark ones here. I'm going to take my white chalk pencil and just draw on the veins of the leaves. Very light and easily erasable. I have my olive green and my light olive green. I'm just going to mix the two colors, two parts, a one part each I mean. So half and half. And I'm just going to highlight in between the chalk marks. Just kind of scrubbing it on, just lightly, like that. Not too much paint. Start in the middle and kind of blend it outward, like that. Take more of the color, a little bit, almost a dry brush. like that. I take some light olive green. And add a little bit. Like that. Alright. 
little bit more to this edge because the light like that. I have a number three liner. I'm going to dip it in the light olive green and add a tiny bit of water to it just to water it down. I'm going to add the vein right on top of the chalk mark. Like that. Kind of blend it at the end because it's in shade so Perfect. And now it's one leaf. I'll do the same with the other leaves. A little bit more here. I'm going to add the veins to the leaves. Just going to mix these together again. And then just add a few more white spots. Maybe a little bit on the sides too. And there we go. It is finished. And it could be hung this way or this way. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please go check out the other painting tutorials from Cinnamon Cooney, Angela Anderson, and Jane Font from Painting with Jane. Please leave a comment down below and tell me what your favorite flower is. I may just paint it next. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.